Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate the feast of St. Maria Goretti, a young martyr in the church. Through her intercession, we pray that even in the midst of struggles, we are able to see the presence of God. In this Mass, we also include in our prayers the healing, the continued healing of Pope Francis, and we also pray for the souls of those who have perished uh, in the recent military plane crash. We pray also for their families and their loved ones. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, 
who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth, grant we pray through her intercession that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the course of the night, Jacob arose, took his two wives with the two maidservants and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. After he had taken them across the stream and had brought over all his possessions, Jacob was left there alone. Then some man wrestled with him until the break of dawn. When the man saw that could not, he could not prevail over him, he struck Jacob's hip at its socket, so that the hip socket was wrenched as they wrestled. The man then said, Let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. The man asked, What is your name? He answered, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be spoken of as Jacob, but as Israel, because you have contended with divine and human beings and have prevailed. Jacob then asked him, Do tell me your name, please. He answered, Why should you want to know my name? With that, he bade him farewell. Jacob named the place Pinel, because I have, been, I have seen God face to face, he said. Yet, my life has been spared. At sunrise, as he left Penel, Jacob limped along because of his hip. That is why, to this day, the children of Israel do not eat the sciatic muscle that is on the hip socket. Inasmuch as Jacob's hip socket was struck at the sciatic muscle. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. From you let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, searching it in the night, though you try me with fire, you shall find no miracle, no malice in me. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word, show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from their foes. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. I, in justice, shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. In justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus, and when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, what do we see in the midst of a struggle in life? What is our attitude? What will be our behavior whenever we are faced with a struggle, a problem in life? Are we still able to see God even in the midst of struggles? Sa gitna kaya ng mga pagsubok ng buhay, Ano kaya ang tugon natin? Ano ang nakikita natin? In the two stories in our readings today, and even the story of our feast day today of St. Maria Goretti, we see that these people saw God face to face in the midst of struggles in life. In our first reading from the book of Genesis, we see the story of Jacob who struggled with a certain man. They wrestled. He struggled. But after the struggle with this man, at the end of the story, Jacob erected an altar there because he said, I have seen God face to face. In the midst of the struggle, of that experience of struggle, Jacob was able to say, I have seen God face to face. And Jesus, in our Gospel reading today, was going around Israel he was teaching in the synagogues. He was curing those who are sick. He was sending out demons. And at the sight of the struggle of all the peoples, the heart of Jesus was moved. And he prayed to God in the sight of the poverty of the people. He prayed to God to send out more laborers for the harvest of God. In the midst of struggle, Jesus was able to see God. And our feast day today, we see that in the life of St. Maria Goretti, In her experience of 
being harassed, of being violated, of a man attempting to rape her. In that experience, she was able to utter, This is wrong. This is against God. Naisip ko tuloy, kapag ba tayo ay dumadaan sa pagsubok, dumadaan sa matinding kahirapan, dumadaan sa mga ganitong pagsubok, masasabi pa kaya natin, maiisip pa kaya natin na may Diyos. O baka kapag may kaunting pinagdaranasan ka ng hirap, kung ano-ano nang masasamang nasasabi mo. No? Minsan may kaunti ka lang na naranasan na hirap, nakakapagmura ka na, nakakasigaw ka na sa mga tao, pero si Maria Goretti, pinagtangkaan na, she was violated, but still, she was able to pray to God in the midst of struggles. My dear brothers and sisters, are we able to see God in the midst of our struggles? In the midst of the poverty, in the midst of hardships, are we still able to see God? Maybe you recognize we have two missionary sisters here. <laughs> they uh, usually celebrate Mass with us this mor uh, every morning or regularly. Sorry, sister, I, I again used you as an example today. They are missionaries. They are not Filipinas. They are from South America. Am I right? No, they are from South America. And they work in the midst of poverty here, especially in the area of Baseco. They are examples for us of people who, in the midst of hardships, they still can see God. They are still able to pray to God. They are still able to see the harvest needed by God. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, there are many examples in our celebration of people who are able to see God in the midst of hardships, in the midst of struggles, in the midst of poverty, and even in the midst of violence. People can still see the presence of God. Are you able to see God? in your hardships, and in your struggles. In this Mass, let Jesus allow you to see God's presence even in the midst of the hardships of life. Amen. Please stand. Through the priesthood of the new covenant, God brings the reconciling ministry of His Son to us. Let us approach the Lord of the harvest as we pray, Lord, send out laborers to your harvest. Lord, set out laborers to your harvest, that more men may be called to serve God's people as priests. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send out laborers to your harvest, that nations close to the gospel may be prepared and become fertile fields for the sowing of God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, send, send out, out laborers, laborers to your, your harvest, harvest, that those who work as priests, nuns, religious brothers, catechists, and lay apostles may inspire others to join them. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, send out laborers to your harvest, that we may encourage and work with those who serve in special ministries in our community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send out laborers to your harvest, that the reconciling sacrifice of Christ may bring the dead to glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send out laborers to your harvest. Lord of the harvest, through our humble prayers, gather together your people. Grant us more workers in your mission and hasten the coming of the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Maria Goretti win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Maria Goretti, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Blessed Maria Goretti a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament that, bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.